Bicon proximal treatments are indicated for the treatment of non-cavitated lesions that have not progressed beyond the first one-third of dentin when measured radiographically. Cavitated lesions and those that have progressed beyond the first one-third of dentin should be restored using traditional restorative procedures. Additionally, ICON is contraindicated in the cases of developmental lesions, fluorosis, hypoplasia, erosion, or trauma. ICON has been shown to be effective for interproximal lesions and posterior teeth that have progressed one-third the way into the dentin itself. However, for the current investigation, we will limit our selection of lesions to those that have not progressed beyond the dentino-enamel junction. We will focus our attention in the present case to interproximal lesions between permanent premolars and molars. Primary molar treatments are effective with ICON as well. However, we will confine our work today to the permanent dentition. After determining that there is a lesion interproximally, as visualized on a recent bite wing radiograph, determine that the lesion is not extended beyond the dentino-enamel junction for the purposes of the current assessment. In cases of a very tight interproximal contact, it is advised to use an orthodontic elastic round separator in advance of the treatment visit. These separators are easily placed into the interproximal space and after a few days, the space will open and allow easy placement of the applicator. In cases where the contact is light, the prior visit separation is not required and separation can be achieved through the placement of a wedge. Prior to treatment of a proximal lesion, the treatment site should be cleaned with dental floss and or dental tape, then isolated with a rubber dam. The rubber dam should be well adapted and inverted at the gingival area. Do not use rubber dams made from thermoplastic elastomers such as FlexiDam. The Icon etched syringe is attached to the proximal tip with a lure lock connection. Place the applicator tip into the treatment area, the green side, towards the lesion, and slowly turn approximately one and a half to two times so that an adequate amount of gel is dispensed and covers the lesion site. With the applicator tip in place, allow the etching to sit for two minutes. After two minutes, the proximal tip is removed, and the tooth is rinsed for 30 seconds with water. Then, thoroughly dry with oil-free and water-free air for 15 seconds. Next, the Icon Dry is applied. Attach the needle applicator to the Icon Dry syringe, and extrude an ample amount of ethanol onto the lesion site, then let it sit for 30 seconds. Then dry with oil-free and water-free air for 15 seconds. The next step is the infiltration. It is recommended at this point to turn off or redirect the operatory light as to not prematurely cure the material. Apply a fresh proximal tip to the Icon infiltrant syringe. Place the applicator into the treatment area with the green side facing toward the lesion. And then turn the syringe handle approximately one and a half turns to extrude the resin. Leave the proximal tip in place. The material will continue to absorb into the lesion while additional material is extruded from the Icon syringe by periodic slight turns of the handle. After three minutes, remove the applicator. Run dental floss or dental tape through the treatment site to remove excess material. The material is then light cured from the buckle from the occlusal, and from the lingual for a total of 40 seconds. A fresh proximal tip is attached, and a second application of the Icon resin is placed onto the proximal surface for a one minute period following the same steps as previously taken. Remove the proximal tip from the treatment area and floss once again to remove excess material from the surface, and then light cure all areas for 40 seconds. The surface is now finished with a fine abrasive strip. After removal of the rubber dam, the patient is dismissed after being informed of the details of the procedure performed. Follow-up will occur at typical recare intervals.